Hey everybody, welcome back to the brand new video. Today we're opening this box of vintage card treasures. It says it's the greatest vintage baseball card search ever. It says find the two Mickey Mantle rookie cards and other superstars. So the odds of finding a Mickey Mantle rookie card are about 1 in 12,500 boxes. So I don't know if that's going to happen. That would be pretty crazy. Also, by the way, there's one Hall of Famer or All-Star player in every pack. So hopefully the Hall of Famers are from the 70s or 60s. That would be great and not from the 90s. And there's one autograph or relic card of a Hall of Famer in every box as well. So there's a whole lot of stuff going on with this box. It got a lot of nice selling points listed on the box. All these great rookies from the 68 Nolan Ryan rookie to the 52 Topps Mantle to George Brett rookie card. On the side, we got Tom Seaver rookie, Sandy Koufax 55 rookie. There's a uh, nice 53 Jackie Robinson, a 66 Mantle. A whole lot of stuff going on on the back. It says there's going to be 15 vintage cards in every pack, 10 original Topps cards from 1952 to 1991. So I'm expecting most of these cards to probably be from 86 to 91. Um, I've never opened one of these boxes before. This box comes from 2019. I saw it for sale and I was like, let's go ahead and try this one. Uh, this one I paid $300 for the box. I bought this one directly from the Vintage Card Treasures website. 300 bucks. So we'll see if we get anything good in here. Now, 2022 Topps Chrome is due out this week. It's not release day for it yet. It's not coming until Friday. Friday is the big release day of 2022 Topps Chrome. And also, I believe Immaculate is coming out as well. So make sure you hit that notification bell so you don't miss anything. Uh, also, I'd like to remind you that uh, we're giving away this Julio Rodriguez autograph at the end of the month. If you'd like to sign up as a channel member, um, it's a couple bucks a month. Support the channel and then have a chance at that one. All you have to do is get the first comment in this video and any video uh, this month will be an entry into that. So let's go ahead and get started, folks. Thank you very much for being here. I really appreciate you tuning in on this Wednesday. Let's also bring in our sponsor for this video before we break the seal of the box. John Barker. This is his box now. I hope we can find some good stuff for you here, John. If you'd like to sponsor a video like this one or participate in our live streams, check us out on Patreon. There is a link in the description if you'd like to sign up there and have access to all of our breaks. Now, let's see what we can find. By the way, this is box number 3,481 of 25,000. So kind of uh, has a legit feel with the uh, serial numbers on here. Let's see what we've got inside. 1952 Mantle. Wouldn't that be crazy to pull this out of a box? I'm wondering if it's going to be, if you do pull one of these huge cards, I wonder if it's going to be a redemption. So here's what the packs look like. Are you ready, folks? Vintage card treasures from 2019. 52 mantle search. Let's go ahead and see what we can find here. So uh, this pack feels like there's a thick, oversized card in it, like a 55 50, 56, 55, 54, 52, 53, one of those. Uh, it kind of feels like that. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong, or maybe it's just the uh, the fold there, but it, I don't know. Uh, let's see if it has any odds on there or anything. It does have odds. You can see that the 52 original baseball card is one in every 460 packs, so that's not going to find too many of those. But let's go ahead and see what we can find. This should be fun. Give us something to open on this off day, so to speak. Usually Wednesdays are a new release day. But with uh, everything pushed to Friday for the release, we'll go ahead and open these. And it's not really that easy to open. So, hey, there's a nice Denny Martinez 81 tops on the back. By the way, we're opening this tomorrow. So stay tuned for that. This is a baseball card exchange authenticated seal box of 1981 tops for Throwback Thursday. And it looks like I was wrong about having an oversized card in there. It was just the pack wrapper. So we start off with the 82 tops Fernando Valenzuela in great shape. Tom Seaver tops traded. 1986, nice airbrushed hat on Tom Terrific. Hey, we got a 66, Ed Charles. All right, so I like that. I like the older stuff. Mike Jeffcoat, 85 tops. Paul Molitor, there's your Hall of Famer. 1980 tops. All right, so I kind of like this right now. I hope most of the Hall of Famers are older Hall of Famers. We're not getting junk wax Hall of Famers. The 78 tops card, Roberto Alomar. Um, he's a Hall of Famer. I'm not going to take that one out, though, because there's not a ton of value to it. Jim Rice, 1979 tops with George Foster. So I, I like stuff from the 70s, so I'm putting that aside. And Denny Martinez as well. So overall, not a terrible first pack. Um, 
and the cards seem to be in great shape. Here's the next pack. I don't think I'm going to be able to open any of these just the regular way. For whatever reason, it's just a little tough. So I'm going to have to just go the old snippity snip route on uh, all of these packs in this video. Luckily, we have the scissors nearby. Let's see what we've got in this next pack. Got to make sure that the cards can have a clear access or clear uh, exit point there. We've got a Bobby Bonilla rookie card on the back of Bobby Bo. There's a Kirk Gibson 88 update. Actually, this is regular card. Ron Hodges. That one's an update card. Rick Monday, American Hero from 78 Tops. There's Hall of Fame Mike Schmidt from 85. We got Biff Picoro. I've never even heard of him before. Probably notice him in tomorrow's break a bunch. Here's a nice one. Tom Seaver and Jim Palmer, 1974 Tops. And guys, that's in great shape. Take a look at the corners on these. So I like that one. This is uh, much better than the Universal Treasures box that we did about a week ago. Larry Walker, rookie card. He's a Hall of Famer. And we've got a 76 Wilbur Howard. And there's the Bobby Bow rookie card from 86 Tops Traded. So really like that Tom Seaver and Jim Palmer, 74 Tops. Now it did say on the box there is one guaranteed Hall of Fame auto or relic. It's probably going to be, if it's an autograph, it might be somebody like Lee Smith or Harold Baines, which just still isn't bad. Dennis Powell, 87s on the back. Eddie Murray, 84 tops on the front. Bill Campbell looks kind of confused. We've got Bill Plummer from 75 tops. And I'm telling you, folks, these packs are giving us really, really good condition um, vintage cards. Bob Boone, 81. There's Tom Seaver, 1982 tops. I'm going to put that one down here in my super good pile or super good lineup there's bill north daryl evans hey mark mcguire 1985 tops rookie card very nice all right now of course mcguire is not a hall of famer but that is a nice pull mcguire one of the uh that's an iconic card that card went as high as like 250 bucks in beckett back during the height of the home run chase when uh, back in 1998 mark mcguire was um, breaking the single season record, went on to hit 70 home runs. Chase captivated the nation because not only was McGuire chasing after the record, which was Roger Maris's at the time, but he was also in a dog fight for it with Sammy Sosa. Those guys back and forth. There's a nice Nolan Ryan, 89 tops traded. Mike Champion, great name. Next, we've got Carney Lansford. And a Greg Maddox rookie card. I will take that one. Greg Maddox rookie card from 87. I love that card. Uh, if I ever see that card at a card show for $5 or less, I buy it every time. Gene Michaels, 74 tops. Again, all these cards are in great shape from the 70s. We got a Reggie Jackson, 81 tops all-star card. I'm putting down all the cards that I really like. Just for something in the background. I might run out of room soon. We've got Pete McCannon, that's a 77, and Lou Pinella is the last one there. So no uh, no monster hit yet. Best card of the day is probably, honestly, the Mark McGuire rookie card. Let's go ahead and continue on. I'm going to open this next pack right now and see what we can find. So far, a fun search. Hopefully you guys are enjoying it. Hopefully we have something nice coming out of this next pack for John. Bo Jackson, 1991. That's a traded card. Used to love that card as a kid. There's Steve Trout. We've got a Houston Astros team card there. Phil Necro, who's a Hall of Famer. That's an 85 tops. Thad Bosley and Harmon Killebrew. Man, look at the condition of this. 68 tops. It is flawless. 68 tops. Oh, look at the... Man, look at the corners. It is a mint... 68 tops, Harmon Killebrew. I'll put that one right there. I'm just shaking my head at the condition of some of these cards. Kirby Puckett, 86 tops. And Cal Ripken, both Hall of Famers, Puckett and Ripken. Two nice cards right there. So we've got, uh, still, man, I love that. I think the Harmon Killebrew is my favorite one of this video so far. You just don't see 68 cards like that anymore. I mean, just the naked eye test there, I would say that's at least gotta be a nine you never maybe you'll get a 10 on it i don't know john but that's uh that's crazy crazy good stuff right there here's our next pack we got ted simmons leading things off he's an all he was an all-star he's a hall of famer now mike diaz right rennie stennett he once went seven for seven in a game we got yvonne rodriguez that's his rookie card so pretty nice one right there hall of fame rookie card of yvonne rodriguez dave winfield a hall of famer Good old Frank Duffy and a Robin Yount 1981 tops. Really like these old 
you know, 81 for me, uh, it wasn't the junk wax area yet. So for cards like that, I am uh, kind of really piqued my interest. There's some conversation as to when the junk wax era started, where cards started to be mass produced so much so that it really hurt the value of them because there's just so many of them. A lot of people kind of pinpoint 1989 as the start of the era just because you had some more players coming on the market. You had Upper Deck and Score joining the fray, uh, Bowman as well. I think, you know, I don't, for me, I feel like 88 is junk wax, 87, um, 86. I wonder what. Let me know in the comments. When is the official start of the Junk Wax in your eyes? Here's a great card. It's an 80 tops, Ron Guidry, along with J.R. Richard. There's a nice uh, 1974 tops Game 1 card, George Brett, Hall of Famer. You got Mike Lumman, a nice Nolan Ryan 81 tops card. Very nice. Love this card. This is one of my favorite Nolan Ryan cards. That's a great picture of Nolan Ryan. So an 81 tops, Nolan Ryan. We got Dave Smith, Tony Perez, a 78 tops. That's his. He's a Hall of Famer, 78 tops in great shape. Got to sleeve that one up too. Might as well just keep on adding them to the uh, backdrop here. I hope we can find a big time hit. I think that that Killebrew might be the best of all of these. That uh, When I first saw it, I thought it was a reprint at first. It was just so pristine. But uh, I, I don't know, it's just it's crazy. There's Carlton Fisk on the back. Goose Gossage, who's a, a Hall of Famer. Dale Barra, 84 tops traded. Got the 82 Future Stars card right there. Actually, that's a 1980 tops. Joe Horner, 75. Man, what is with that last name? I never heard of him before. Bill, I don't even know if I can say it. Let's sound it out. Now, Herodney? I, I don't know. Tony Gwynn rookie card, 1983 tops. Gwynn, very nice. I love this card. An 83 Tony Gwynn rookie. A beautiful card right there. So, John, a nice one. We'll put that right there. Um, that one's definitely going to get sleeved up and also top loaded for you, John. Tony Gwynn, I think my favorite pull so far from this. I got to go Killebrew 1 just because of the condition of the, that Hall of Fame All Star card. I'm going to go Gwynn 2 and Maguire 3 as my top three. And uh, you know what? We're only halfway through the box. We may have more great hits. Let's see what we've got in this next one. 77, Larry Hyler's a Ken Griffey Jr., 91 tops. And uh, Brooks Robinson, 78 tops. Awesome card right there as well. Ricky Henderson, 84 tops right behind him. Probably not going to put that one on the screen. That's a great card. I'll sleeve that one up separately. We've got a 67, Johnny Odom. And last but not least, there's Dick Davis, 1980 tops. Continuing on here, let's see what else we can find in this next box. So I bought this box a little while ago and I I found it on a, a website and I bought it directly from their website. I, I paid $300 for it. And um, so far, uh, it's not a complete loss. There's a nice 79. It's actually pretty good. Like I sell some of these cards back. Um, that uh, some of these cards in such great shape. There's a Jose Canseco rookie card from 1986 tops traded. That's a great one. I'm going to put that one off to the side. I've got to kind of be a little picky and choosy now about the last few spots I have on my screen. Canseco, a great card, but I'm running out of room and I still have about five packs left here in this video. Again, thanks for joining us, everybody. I really appreciate you tuning in on this Wednesday. Usually, new release days are Wednesdays, but uh, Friday's the big day this week. I hope you'll be able to check out our new release preview video of 2022 Topps Chrome. We're going after that J-Rod. Excited to see the base. Excited to see uh, Bobby Witt and Torkelson as well. There's Jack Moore's 80 Tops Hall of Famer card. And a Charlie Huff. Good old Charlie, 78 Tops. Daryl Strawberry, second year card, 85. We've got Frank DiPino, rookie card. The Pittsburgh Pirates 1968 card is pretty nice. Roberto Clemente in there somewhere. Mike Griffin, Ryan Sandberg's second year card from 84 tops. We got Cito Gaston, 1976, and Don Manningly. Like that card a lot as well. Don Manningly, 1989 tops. I think one year I got my dad a gift of a little Don Manningly blister pack. I think they're all Manningly cards, and I think that might have been the face card on that blister pack. It was uh, my dad's favorite player in the 80s and I don't know if I clipped this top enough so let's go ahead and cut another half millimeter off there and 
see what we can find. Ed Romero's there on the back. We got Dave Henderson. That is a glossy card right there. Man, very nice Dave Henderson glossy. Is that a Tiffany? Awesome card. Dave Henderson. Take a look at how glossy that one is. There's Andre Dawson, 85 tops. Mike Jorgensen, 78. Rick Sutcliffe. And there's our Hall of Fame hit. There's the relic. It is a George Brett numbered out of 325. It is a game-used jersey of George Brett, and uh, that's a pretty decent one. George Brett was a great, great player. 3,000 career hits, played his entire career with the Kansas City Royals. And this one comes to us from Upper Deck, the year 2005. So nice numbered George Brett relic. We'll put that on the screen right there, see what else we can find. Raleigh Fingers, 1981 tops. Get that one on the screen of the Hall of Famer as well. Just to look at his mustache a little while longer, I guess. And now we're down to three packs left in this video, folks. Let's see. It'd be insane to pull a mantle, especially if it would be in the condition that a lot of these cards are in. Um, but we have found some nice stuff so far in this little snippings. It's fallen on the George Brett. Let's get that out of here. All right, Tim Costa, 91 tops. Alan Trammell, 85. There's Ron Robinson. Mike Schmidt, 84. That's a nice one. Milt Wilcox. Dave Palmer. Look at that. Lou Brock, 74 tops. Look at the condition on these old cards. That is a pristine condition card right there. What a great card. Lou Brock, 1974 tops. That's definitely getting a spot in the, uh, I guess, the backdrop of fame here. What an, a nice lineup. I'm, I'm happy with this. Now, $300 is a lot to pay for a box. Um, these cards, raw, if they were a little off condition, it probably wouldn't have been worth it. But because some of these are in such great shape, I feel like we might get our, uh, might break even on this one. So here we go with this next pack. Clip that off. The big uh, wild card for me is that 68 Killbrew. If that would come back, if uh, jo uh, John would get that graded and it would come back a nine or maybe a the unthinkable 10. Bill Wegman. There's good old Rob Wilfong with the really dirty, dirty batting glove. Reggie Jackson. Very nice. A hey, Reggie Jackson 1979 tops in great shape. Clean backs. Love the old Hall of Famer cards from the very early 80s and 70s. Jim Palmer Hall of Famer from 1984 tops. Bernie Carbo and Oscar Gamble. So we're down to our last pack. Let's see what uh, what final card lies in wait for us in here. And I hope it is a good one. Nice. Uh, let's see here. Who would I want to find here? Obviously, I'd love to find a mantle in here. Probably not going to happen. Um, I'm going to go ahead and guess. I haven't seen any Wade Boggs yet. I'm, I'm, thinking of, I'm feeling a Wade Boggs. Wouldn't it be nice to find a Wade Boggs rookie? All right. Steve Carlton on the back. Dave Martinez. There's Ken Brett. Ray Fossey, 77. Pete Rose, 86. Gary Alexander, we've got a checklist there. No Wade Boggs. But we do get a Tim Raines rookie card. 1981 tops Tim Raines in great shape. Tim Raines, Hall of Famer. So a pretty decent lineup. And uh, for me, the packs were fun to open just because of the condition. Like, look at this. 75 tops card, Dale Murray. And it uh, looks like it was just pulled out of a pack yesterday. All the corners are super sharp. Backs are clean. Final card is Steve Carlton, 1984 top. So there you have it, folks. That is the Vintage Card Treasure Pack. It was a fun rip, so I hope you guys enjoyed this one. We'll be back again tomorrow with another video. We'll be doing Throwback Thursday, and we'll be doing a Baseball Card Exchange authenticated box. Uh, looking for all the great Hall of Famers and uh, nice rookie cards in that set as well. And that's one of the big ones, the Tim Raines, arguably the biggest one. Tim Raines, Harold Baines, Kurt Gibson, some nice rookies in there. So stay tuned for tomorrow. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you guys have a great rest of your Wednesday, and I will see you all tomorrow. Good night, everybody.